is all about practical guide you can write it this as it is in the examination you can get full mark so the very simple guide so please make use of it first we are going to discuss about the de morgan's theorem so formula circuit diagram procedure in this procedure the sort procedure is for both the theorems so you are going to change the only one thing that i'll mention in black color so in this picture we are going to see the the truth table and its calculation for the first theorem now the de morgan's second theorem truth table and its calculation and result if you write this you can get the full mark for the de morgan's theorem now logic gate logic gate so i am going to give the formula for the six all the six gates but in your questions they will ask four or three gates so what are the gates they are uh, asking you can write it that only so first of all i'll give and gate its truth table and then or gate or gate truth table this is or gate and or gates truth table now it is not gate this is not gate not gates truth table and nand gate nand gates truth table now we are going to see about the exclusive or gate exor gate exclusive or gate its truth table in the next thing we are going to see about the nor gate it is nor gate this is or gate plus not gate its truth table it's a procedure this what's the procedure given in your book so the procedure the second part of the procedure and uh, the calculation for the and gate and calculation for the or gate calculation for the not gate not gate the next it is exclusive or gate exclusive or gate calculation is now the nand gate nand gate its calculation nor gate calculation then the result in this result the truth table of the logic gates and or not exclusive nand and or they are written like this but in your examination question point of view if they given only three gates then write a uh, three gates for example they given and or not then write it these three alone okay now we are entered into the next practical that is nothing but potentiometer this is potentiometer formula e1 by e2 is equal to l1 by l2 this is a formula circuit diagram the upper part of the circuit diagram is primary circuit primary circuit the lower part m1 m2 dp dt switch galvanometer high resistance is secondary circuit it is called as secondary circuit now the procedure sort procedure in your book they are given a seven points i reduced as five points then the observation nothing but the table column if in the examination they ask only four readings write it four alone that's enough okay now the calculation part very simple calculation part e1 by e2 is equal to l1 by l2 substitute that the centimeter centimeter cancel it out that's why e1 by e2 is a ratio of no unit it's a mere number it's a mere number there is no unit at all so five calculations now we are going to see the mean mean average value mean calculations so write all the five readings and add it up and divided by 5 then you can get the number 1.3962 the ratio of the emf of given two cells 
Now, the PN junction diode characteristics. That's a formula. The forward resistance RF equal to delta VF by delta IF. The circuit diagram. So, in the examination, they are going to ask the forward bias. That's why I am giving the diagram only the forward bias. If it is a reverse bias, do the only one thing. Change the direction of the current. That's enough. Now is the procedure. Only 5 points. So, this is the procedure is all about. Now the model graph. In this model graph, VF is taken x-axis. IF is taken in the y-axis. Draw the graph. It's a forward bias graph. From the graph, find out delta VF and delta IF. The slope is delta IF by delta VF. Forward resistance is the reciprocal of the slope. This is the observation, nothing but the table column. So, the readings are there. Now, the calculation. Delta VF by delta IF. So, 0 0.7, 0 0.6, minus 0 0.6. 10.5 minus 3.5 into 10 power minus 3. So 0 0.1 into 10 power 3. The 10 power 3 is coming to the numerator. That's why it is positive sign. So 100 by 7. 14.28 ohm. So the forward resistance is 14.28. New voltage 0 0.5 volt. New voltage is from the graph. So where is the new voltage? This is the new voltage. This volt is the new voltage is all about. Where the graph bends, that's the new new voltage. Okay, so once again, I'll read the calculation here. X-axis, it's VF in volt. Y-axis, IF in milliampere. Scale is in x-axis one centimeter is 0 0.5, 0 0.1 volt. In Y-axis, 0 0.1 uh, milliampere. So with the help of that, I'm draw the graph. So thank you all of you. Thank you everybody.